Peace. Salam alaikum. Right. I don't take up too much time and stuff on this. But uh this is in correlation to a young kid who's eleven years old. Okay, his name is uh Raheem Bailey and is dealing with bullying and racism. Now, what I've always noticed, what I've always known, is that it starts from the home, okay? The boy, he was bullied. He was kicked and stuff, and uh, he antagonizes the people out there that's making the assault, the young kids that was making the assault, okay, this young 11-year-old boy, they chased him and stuff, the boy ran, you know, trying to get to safety, and uh, he ran and got his finger caught on the gate, and as he was trying to escape, you know, his finger had ripped off, all right, so this leads me to ask, okay, when something is going on, okay, with bullying, okay, why isn't the, uh, where's the school administrators, the teachers and everything, okay, why isn't this being addressed, okay, somebody's getting bullied, okay, and, you know, why are they getting bullied for their race, you know, society has a way to uh, kind of like trick most of the masses, getting people to think that, you know, racism does not exist and stuff. You got these little talking heads, these celebrities and everything, these naysayers that are saying that, well, I've never experienced racism in the state of the third. Listen, you may be in another tax bracket. Okay, so you have no idea, okay, what the day-to-day -day people go through. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if individuals is getting paid for it, okay, to say things, you know, ridiculous things like that instead of bringing it to the forefront. But uh, you may say it's, say it's not happening. It is happening. Okay, you're not to lot this stuff, man, shoe can cause a whole lot of things. Okay, it creates a domino effect of things out there, you know, ramifications that we constantly, constantly ignore. I don't believe in ignoring things like that. Okay, at one time, when I was younger, you know, I was a small, tiny, daggone bit individual. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, I wasn't as large as I am today. You know what I'm saying? So, most characters out there will take precedence to that. They'll take advantage of that. Of someone's size, someone's color, shape, and whatever stuff that comes with it. A whole lot of things. Okay. These are things out there that should not be ignored. So if it was a kid to come to me and tell me, hey, somebody's bothering and stuff, you know, it's just human nature and stuff, man. I'm going to assess the situation. And I'm going to, you know, do what I got to do to bring it to a halt. And I've done it before. You know what I'm saying? Now, again, racism classism and a whole lot of things all these isms a lot of plagues in society okay with the mind starts from the home okay comes from the media you know the radio TV you know what I'm saying who was taught you know elitism you know what I'm saying Braggadoso, you know what I'm saying? 
this comes stuff from somewhere. And parenting plays a very big part. And this is where, you know, what I see now in society is a lack of accountability. Okay, empathy has went out the window because, you know, as a people out here with this mentality of being part of the circle of perfect people, okay, they could do no wrong. You know what I'm saying? I see a lot of divisive stuff that's going on, okay? When somebody out there tries to, you know, bring precedence and stuff to where, you know, an individual has to be brought back to reality, okay? There's a system especially, you know what I'm saying, I see within the melanated community and I got to okay, just about holding accountable, holding people accountable. That is guilt, shame, insults, and the need to be right. Okay. I see that a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? All of this is part of validation. Okay, a lot of folks out there insecure. They need the validation from others, okay, to try to prove their worth rather than looking within themselves. And I see this is going on within the inner city and just with a lot of individuals out there that, you know, felt that they've been put on the pedestal for so long that, you know, they could do no wrong. You know what I'm saying? And when they get told about themselves, okay, they get a little attitude. Okay. This elitism, isolationism, you know, all of these isms, you know what I'm saying? They, they all coincide with one another. So where is this all leading to? Where is it coming from? Again, it starts from the home. You know, I tried to do a live stream earlier on Facebook. Phone kept buffering and stuff. But I wanted to talk about little Raheem Bailey. You know what I'm saying? Because that was nice and stuff, man. Those kids shouldn't have did that. Okay? We could shame them and do everything, you know what I'm saying? But that's not the only case. There's several other cases of people out there being bullied. And again, it starts from the home. Okay? Are we holding these parents accountable? Okay? Because that's where everything's going. You know what I'm saying? We see a trend that's happening. And that right there, that trend is holding people accountable. And when are we going to start holding instead of the culprits of a lot of these problems, the catalysts to a lot of these situations, the parents? When are we going to start holding them accountable? Because these kids are picking it up somewhere. Something's influencing them. And if it's not the parents, as the parents would claim, it's not them, then why don't the parents find out what these kids are doing? You should know what's going on within your child's life. I know plenty of parents out there who are in tune, okay, with putting their personal pride and everything within them aside for the betterment of their children. Okay, and I know people out there that just feel like, you know, they have to they have to be alpha. They got to be the center. They have to be in control. And these kids out there, these kids are being manipulated. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's through media, you know what I'm saying, be it radio or television, internet, all of these things. They get it from somewhere. Again, it starts from the home.